it, I've been so pinned, like just everything. Mentally, physically, that's draining. Like I've been waking up at like 3 a.m., started meditating. I haven't even started this season. Like if I'm, if I feel like this now, <laughs> I'm like, that's not good. <laughs> and it's like supposed to be fun. Oh, hey. Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh. The season is almost here and it's kind of fun to look back on how I felt at the start of 2022. I had a lot of anxiety going into the year. I had all these expectations for how I was supposed to perform. <sighs> I was really unsure of so many things. When I am like that, I just kind of revert back to like, well, control the things you can control and going on a bikepacking trip with two of my best friends was one of those things. I'm Ellen, I'm from Durango, Colorado. This is my first bikepacking trip with multiple nights, trying not to get poked by a lot of cactus. Sarah and I met at Fort Lewis College. You know, we've gone pretty different directions with what we do for careers and where we live. These kind of trips definitely like keep us tight. Fun knowing like, okay, like, you know, I can still ride with my really fast friends. We got some wildlife. Hi, Snickety Snick. Snick. Twerk, 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 twerk. Day two of our trip. We have like another 30 or 40 mile day today. These sorts of trips are super important just cause like, I feel like with the race season coming up, I'm just not gonna have any time. I just feel like the season is gonna be like just chaos, um, which I'm excited for, but also pretty like anxious to like start that. So I really wanna take advantage of these sorts of things. It's really special to get to prioritize that with like some of my best friends. It's like it's a Tuesday and we're like on some random road in the kind of the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her. Dinner. <laughs> Look at the crispiness. <laughs> Crushing out smiles with the ladies. Feeling super fresh. Man, my knees really hurt, my back really hurts, everything is kind of hurty. We just, uh, we get to know each other pretty well from sleeping right next to each other in a three-person tent. We are jammed in there like three little sardines. We have, I think, our biggest day ahead of us today. hanging out in my spandex and Warren Spain, so like... <laughs> we have like a 13 mile hike a bike ahead of us. That might be rideable. We are really out there. Somewhat high alpine feeling Arizona, if that's a thing. Some parts were awesome, some rides were less awesome. How do you do this? How does one hike? 
There was like a pivotal moment where it was getting pretty dark. It was getting cold. We were all really hungry because we were like trying to ration our food. But I don't know about you guys, but I was like starving. I had to make a decision that wasn't a part of the plan this morning and stop six miles from when we thought <laughs> we were gonna stop. Wake up, girls. Oh, this is my morning jelly bean. <laughs> or a carrot. <laughs> or a carrot. What are you sitting on? A rock. Uh, this bikepacking trip is actually a pretty good metaphor for the ups and downs of this season this year. Um, I could be at home warm and comfortable and I'm pushing this stupid bike up a hill. And the bike packing trip is kind of how the season felt this year. There were some really wonderful moments. And then there's a lot where I wanted to not be doing what I was doing. The season played out way differently than I thought. There are so many moments through seven months of racing where I was like, I think I'm just gonna quit. And then throughout the year, I just had these glimmers, these moments of like, whoa, everything kind of fell into place. My advice to myself way back in March, just showing up for each race is actually kind of enough. Honestly, by the end of the year, I felt like a completely different athlete than I was at the beginning.